Hi everyone, and welcome to Tammy's Tiny Tots Reborns. Um, I have not made a video in a long time, and I have been crazy busy. Um, lots of busy has been going on. I have baby Hazel here, <clears throat> and I'm going to change her into a new outfit and um, just tell you what's been going on. So, first things... Um, I got busy prior to my grandkids coming to visit. My grandkids, we picked them up on uh, June 28th, but we went to Muskoka on the 27th. Yeah, on the yeah on the 27th we went there because we it's a six-hour drive from our house to. Um, Muskoka to pick up our grandkids. So we went up on the 27th, slept overnight, and then picked up all the grandkids, except for our granddaughter. She did not come. Um, the reason she didn't come was her parents, she had uh, was doing good at sleeping through the night, and they thought that she was going to be doing all right. And then right before we came to, we were coming to pick the kids up, um, she started regressing and, and having difficulty. I'm just looking for a shoe here to go with her outfit. Um, yeah, so she started regressing. And so my daughter-in-law didn't feel that she would do well coming to our house. And they didn't want us to have to turn around and drive all the way back up north just to bring Farah back. In case she, um, in case she was like, you know, wouldn't settle and we'd have to take her back. Oh my goodness, this shoe container. So she was worried that we would, you know, have to drive her a six hour drive just to return her back up north because she wasn't sleeping or, you know, was just plain miserable and stuff like that. So my daughter in law decided that it would probably be better to wait until she was three next summer instead of um, two and a half so we said okay and uh, we only brought the boys home with us and uh, so we did we had the boys and Elena here for a whole week and uh, the kids had a great time they had a lot of fun my socks are off white okay um, yeah, so, of course, I can only find one sock. Isn't that how it goes? Um, actually, we'll use those instead. All right, so, yeah, we, uh, so we had a really, really nice time with the grandkids for a week. Um, we did lots and lots of stuff. And, uh, we went to a farm, a really nice little farm, um, where it was just a lady who owns like a, I guess you'd call it a hobby farm. And, uh, so she allows people to bring their kids and stuff. She's got play structure there for the kids to play in and all that kind of stuff. And, um, ride them like ride them toys. She had little um, riding tractors and all kinds of fun stuff like that for the kids to to play on in the in the yard area. And the thing is, is you didn't have to worry about like vehicles coming and hitting the kids. You could just kind of let them run free and let them be kids and let them check out the animals like completely on their own. We looked at the, the animals, like, around the play structure. There were certain cages near the play, play, play structure. There was a, you know, a, an area with bunnies and some chickens and um, some different types of chickens and stuff like that. And uh, so the kids could just kind of roam free on their own. And John and I just sat and relaxed and watched the kids just play and have fun. So I'm going to try this outfit on her and see how it works. It's a little short romper. It's got um, like a white 
cottony material uh, romper underneath with like a light thin um, dress type thing over top. So it's really, really cute. I'm just going to pull the tag off of this. Um, so the kids got to run and free, just be free, kind of, you know. Um, it was quiet. There was only one other family there. It was a mom and her two kids. And so we were able to just let the kids go and let them be kids and not be going, come back over here, come over here, here, what are you doing? What are you doing that for? Why are you doing that? You know, like, we didn't have to do any of that. We just literally let them just run and be kids. And we just sat and let them, and watched them. And they were like, watch me, Grandma, look at this. And, you know, they were having fun doing stuff like that. I'm going to take this blue onesie off because it's not working for me under this outfit. So, and I don't have any more white onesies at all. I gotta get some more white onesies for my own babies. Um, I, I, I have a one white one, but it's got bows and stuff all attached to it. So it makes it a little more difficult like this to hide this underneath an outfit. <laughs> Can't do that. So, anyway, um, so the, we had the kids for the week, and then at the end of the week, so while I was having the kids here, I was also, I guess you could say, planning my wedding. <laughs> um, so while the kids were here for the week, we were getting everything organized to get married on the weekend when all their parents would come for the weekend. Their parents come up on the Friday, and then I said to John, we'll just get married on Saturday. Uh, while they're all here because I don't know anyone else if anyone else has a big family but it's really hard when you have big family with your adult children are all working and stuff like that and it's really hard to get them all together we still weren't able to get all of our children together um our my old like our oldest daughter she wasn't able to make it due to her job um oh this isn't gonna fit her Darn it. This is not going to fit you, girl. Your thighs are too chunky. This won't go and do up around her thighs. Nope. Maybe. No. Just. Just. It just does up. But I move her leg and it's going to pop open. But that's okay. We'll put it on anyway. Ugh. I bought this outfit for another doll. And it didn't fit her either, because her thighs were too thick. <laughs> Thicky ba thick thighed babies. This outfit, I tell you, if you bought this for a real child, it's so cute, but it so doesn't fit in the thighs. If you have any type of thickness to your thighs, and uh, face it, us ladies, we have thickness <laughs> to our thighs. Anyway, um, so after the week we had, the kids showed up on Friday, and um, Saturday we got married, and it was a lovely little wedding. It was just um, us, our kids, my father came with his girlfriend, and um, my foster dad, um, when I was a teenage teenager I was in foster care for a short period of time um well not short period of time but for until I turned 16 I was in foster care and uh so I uh my foster father and his girl wife came they live um close to us so they came to the wedding and uh which was lovely to have them there and I had my dad and my kids and my grandkids and then after we did the wedding then um, a week later John and I decided to get baptized so it's just been chaos around here busy 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 and just yeah lots of fun things going on but now things have finally settled down and I'm able to get back into my studio which I have some reborning to do because I have a doll show coming up um, in September. I'll be doing Ottawa doll show. So if anyone is in the Ottawa area, I know Cynthia. I don't know if she 
actually watches my videos or not, but I know Cynthia, she lives in Ottawa, and I know she usually comes to the Ottawa Doll Show. So it'll be nice to get to see her and, uh, and anyone else who comes by. So yeah, so that's what I have been up to and why I've been this busy. Just busy. After the kids left, it took me a whole week to get the house clean. <laughs> Literally. Like, well, the week after the kids left, I came down with a cold and it affected my voice. So I rested a lot and uh, wasn't going to do anything. Um, I wanted to get as much rest as I could so that I'd be healthy for the baptism. I didn't want to be sick when we got baptized. So, yeah. So it's been crazy busy. Um, I am missing theme Thursday. I miss doing it every Thursday. It gave me something to work towards. So I'm, I've been considering starting something like my own little type of, of, of a theme Thursday thing. Um, if anyone would be interested, let me know in the comments that you'd be interested in say following along and dressing your babies in the a theme Thursday that I pick. Um, and I can pick it early in the week, and then on Thursdays, everyone else can do it. So if you want to let me know in the comments, that would be great. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our little video of Changing Hazel, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Let's talk to you soon. Bye-bye.